Hey guys, it's Bridgette with San Diego Seed Company. I want to show you my red sales lettuce, okay? This gorgeous lettuce is one of the many varieties of lettuce that we carry. And with all the varieties of lettuce that are out there, why did we decide to carry this? Well, I'll tell you some of its really great qualities. One, it does really well in Southern California in the warmer climates. This lettuce actually was, <laughs> Hi there. This lettuce was planted out in February and we have had it, it's been growing in our garden ever since and it looks absolutely gorgeous. It really doesn't have a lot of issues with insects and when we get those crazy random 80 degree days that we always get during the winter time, when other lettuces wilt, this one stands up tall and looks really good. Additionally, look at the aesthetics. It's a beautiful lettuce. It's a Loose heading lettuce, so you can see it's gonna form a little bit of a head, but not super tight. You can harvest it in many different ways. You can harvest it from simply cutting the whole thing, which I'll do here, and I'll show you what that looks like, where you have this beautiful loose head of lettuce that you can use. You also can do what's called cut and come again, where you can just harvest the top of the lettuce. We'll do it with this guy here. And these are, were actually already harvested, but you can harvest just the top, use what you need in your garden, and then this will grow back. We harvested these three heads here about two weeks ago, and you can see already that it's grown to be about this size. So depending on what you need, if you need a little or if you need a lot, you can harvest them in two different ways. So let's talk about growing this from seed. How would you do it? Lettuce is a cool season crop, so you're gonna wanna grow it in the cooler parts of the year, preferably the time of the year when we get a little bit of rain, which I know is not, every year we don't get as much rain as some years, but you can either direct sow your seeds in the garden in late fall. Now, when you sow them directly in the ground, it's very important that the ground remains moist to get even and quick germination. You can do that one of two ways. You can either have irrigation like we do, or you can stay on top of hand watering until the lettuce seed germinates. Now for us on our farm, almost everything that we plant into the ground, we actually start from seed in the greenhouse first. Why? It just allows for us to have better quality control and we can get perfect spacing on our crops. So how would you do that? What would that look like? If you're starting from seed in little pots, you can sow your seeds into good seed starting soil, keep the soil evenly moist, just like you would in the ground, until they germinate. Once they germinate and they grow to about one or two inches tall, at that point you can transplant them out into the garden. The advantages of seed starting in little pots and planting them out is you're not gonna have as much trouble with things like neighborhood cats coming around and digging up the seeds or insects chewing down your baby starts when they're only this big. So that's one of the reasons why we like to start it in a small pot and then plant it out into the garden. 